Mari, let's get into talking about what's going to happen Friday night. So we're going to the Amape Stadium. Um, I have heard that it's not going to be the typical match that we play in the north where a lot of the fans are going to be um are going to be against Napoli in general. Like there will be a lot of Napolitani that go to the game. So I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to that because I'm tired of this bullshit that goes on. And I mean, if the Kurva is still doing some stuff, man, that's probably gonna happen, man. But I just don't want to see the whole stadium doing it like that happened in Spezia. So uh we'll see how that goes down. But I'm looking forward to the match. Um, I've never been to that stadium, and uh, you know their fans are pretty passionate too, man. So oh, it'll yeah. be nice to see some passionate fans. And uh, Bet Odd—he's a fun player to watch. I think he's—I think he's healthy right now. He's—he's he's a little injury prone, but I think he's going to play in this match. I was and hoping then, um, my buddy could uh, could uh, play, but now that he's injured, you know, that was a chance for him. Yeah, to kind of get a little, yep, that a little happened against his yes. team. Yep, yep, for sure, man. That happened yesterday. It's some yeah. simple muscle injury. I don't know if they've really identified exactly what it is yet, uh, but there is most of the reports out there saying that he's going to be out up to a month. So, I mean, if we get him back for the second leg of the Champions League, I think that's maybe a goal for him to shoot for because uh, he's been really good in the Champions League matches. So yeah, he scored most of his goals. Hopefully, right? yeah. Most of yeah, his goals, hopefully right? we get him. Yeah. I th- yeah, I think so. I hope we get him back for that match. Um, Me too. And then the other thing, you know, uh, Spilletti hasn't really done it yet, but I think this is the match where we can expect a little bit of a rotation. What do you think? Against Sassuolo? Mm, I mean, it's possible, but in all honesty, the fact he didn't do it against Cremonese or even Salernitana or Spezia, really, um, I don't see why he does it here. Maybe because it is – the match before the Champions League, so that makes sense there. Uh, I still see Kim starting, even though he's on his fourth yellow. He needs one more to, you know, get a suspension going. And uh, we do have Empoli next, uh, so that would be this would be a good match to get that yellow because after that we have Lazio or Atalanta or something like that. So it'll be a much tougher side. So we need Kim for that. Um, but I can I can see some some rotations like. Maybe even Cavada sending this one out a little bit. Maybe. I, I, I just don't know. Politano coming in for Lozano, I think, this game as well. I don't see Lozano starting three in a row. If he does, fair play. That's fine with me. I mean. I think Lozano started four in a row. If four? I remember right, it might be four. I think. I'm not sure about that. I have to go okay. back and look. But anyway, even three in a row. That's not normal. Yeah. Not know? normal for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it happens, it happens. I, I wouldn't be mad with it, you know. But this would be a, a good game for the first half since we always tend to start out slower. Maybe get some ro- ro- rotations in. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but Sassuolo always give us a, a tough time. So it's, it's kind of hard to, to say. I don't know what Spalletti's going to do. I really don't. Um, yeah. I feel like the players in general aren't showing fatigue. And I think that that's probably going to have some of his – I think that's going to influence his decision. Is that the yeah. I don't I don't see any players showing fatigue. Do you? No, not really. No. Like I said, everyone had a good match last match. I mean, if I saw someone looking sloppy, then that would have told me they they seen fatigue. But I didn't see anybody struggling with anything. Now, if I was in Spalletti's shoes, I would rotate a little bit. When what I would try to focus on is the players that are normally subbing in that are playing well like elmas Mm -hmm. wherever you stick elmas get him a start if you put him there for Zelensky, if you put him in there on the right wing like he's done before if you put him in there on the left for cavada yeah i think elmas is a player where if you put him in as a starter you're not worrying too much about like too much missing he can still perform well enough to where for any of those players where you shouldn't be worried about it. I agree. It would be nice. It would be nice if Lobotka finally gets an actual rest. I mean, put Ndombele in there in the first half. And if he doesn't perform Yeah, then just to see how we do without Lobo, you know? Just to see how we perform. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is, and the the thing is, is if if he doesn't do well, then bring in Lobotka at the beginning of the second half. Exactly. But if he's playing well, 
then let him keep playing. And if you want Laboka to get just a little bit of a burn, okay, do that, you know, 65th, 70 minute, 70th minute, you know. I would like to see that. And then you know I've been dying for d to get a rest. It ain't happening. You know I've been dying for d to get a rest, man. It would have happened already. I, uh, it ain't happening. It's got to happen at some point, man. Come on. <laughs> no, okay, Our captain ain't sitting out, man. Yeah, but Mario Rui could be captain for a match, man. Oh yeah, I'm not saying. And you know, Mar- and, yeah, I mean, and, and you know Mario Rui, you you know Mario Rui is probably gonna start in this match because Oliveira has been the normal guy to start in the Champions mm-hmm. League, right? Yeah. So you've got a player that you can give the armband to. I know he's not gonna do it, but I'm no. gonna talk about it every time because I want to see it. <laughs> you might be talking you know, and then match day 38. <laughs> and then Definitely. you know that. OC man is he's in such good form. No. It would be nice to see him keep scoring so that he gets closer and closer to oh, the possibility of him reaching the record, you know, for most goals in a season. Cause that's not whoa. That is not a that is not far fetched. Whoa. If he can keep scoring, how many matches left, man? There's 38 matches in one season. We're on match day 18, 19. No, no, no. We're further. I think it's 22 or I don't 23. Know. Oh, well, there you go. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man. So He's at 17 yeah, goals that, right now. It, okay. I think we're on match day 23. So mm-hmm. that is okay. – we'll just call it 15 matches left. I love OC men, but, I mean, he, he missed four or five games. Uh, he, had a, he had a slower start. Like, whenever Higuain did this shit, he was – on it from the rip all the way to the end. You know what I mean? But in my opinion, I think Ozzyman is a much better striker than Higuain ever will be or ever has been, if that makes sense. So. All right. Real? Huh? You already think what that, about? yeah? Yes. Yes. Dude, man, you know what? Napoli fucking made him who he is. If he didn't go yeah, to Napoli, Real Madrid, he, was... he was just an above-average striker. He wasn't no superstar. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. no superstar. Man. Yeah, man. If it wasn't for Napoli, he would have never been able to be remembered for anything. Nothing. <laughs> I, I really believe that, yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, if you look at what Oziman offers the team, he's already mm-hmm. above him. Just yep. that record-breaking season, man. If, if Oziman can – if he can get to 30 Ooh. goals, 30 goals, man. If he can get Ozyman to doesn't 30, even take penalties. He going took all the penalties yeah. as well for us. Like, come on, like, yeah. there's just so many factors yeah. to what happened. And you just gotta, you, if you actually watch, you'll understand. Yeah, he, he's gonna start, man. But you know, I think Simeone could get in there too, man. I really do. I think Simeone could start yeah. this game. If I see scores Simeone early, could, I see Simeone coming, yeah, coming sure. in like super early in the second half, a little bit earlier than usual, yeah. And then we mentioned already Rasma being out, not being able to, uh, being able to uh, play against his former team that sucks a little bit for him. I bet he would. I bet he would have done good. Yeah, and I and I think that if he was available, that Spalletti would have really looked at starting him too. You know. Yeah, starting. Ooh. Yeah, debatable. Yeah, I think so. Playing against his former team, being familiar where? with the surroundings and everything. Dude, man, he could he could start left. He could start right. He he, he could he could actually left, start in the right. midfield. <laughs> yeah. I could see him. Yeah, I could see him starting on the left or right in the midfield. I mean, yeah. he's he is definitely he's multidimensional. Jolly. He yeah. is yes. He that's why he I want play, this guy to play, actually be more involved. Play next season. I've been saying he, this he all can, all along since we've made this this a podcast. And he needs to get more involved. I love that kid. He could, he could even play striker here and there. You know what I mean? So yeah, false nine. Screw it. Why not? Yeah, yeah. It sucked for him, man, because I think he had a chance to get a start. But uh, let's let's talk about the prediction. All okay. right, we've been doing pretty good with our predictions. I I'm mean, two two. we're not the we're not two. spot on. We're not spot <laughs> on, but I think we're very very close. Shoot, close what enough. What you got for this match? What do you got for this match, Mario? According to what we've been saying, we could be placing bets and making money. Um, <laughs> just saying. I'll see men goal. That's one. Um, damn, this is going to be tough. I see Elmas getting one more. It just depends who's starting. If Elmas starts, I honestly see him getting either a goal or an assist. 
and then I see someone from the back line getting a goal. You know, OC man, I ain't gonna lie, you you kind of robbed Kim's goal, but uh, you know, it's always <laughs> better to be safe than sorry, you know. Uh, but I see it be, yeah. be a back line scoring one this game. We said that really? last last podcast that uh, Kim would score. Okay. And he okay. almost did. He pretty much did. But in all fair to OC man, I would have I would have sunk that in too. What the hell? <laughs> but uh, still I'm say, say Mario Dewey. You can't say Mario Dewey. Yeah, Only home no, games for Mario, Mario Dewey. Dewey. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, I'm gonna say three three one Napoli. I think Sassuolo sinks one in this game. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not nervous about this match. But I do think that Spalletti is going to put two, maybe three dudes in there that don't normally start, and they might yeah. not be super crisp. I'm going to say 2-0 in this match. I think that they're going to keep a clean sheet because yeah. I think that the defense is playing really good and they're very organized. And like you said, I don't think Kim or Rachmani are actually going to sit. I think they'll both start. Mm-hmm. Oh. And, you know, whether it's Oliveira or Mario Dui, although it's probably going to be Mario Dui, um, and then D'Lo is going to start, although I want BB to play. Their back line is they've been playing together all season long pretty much whenever somebody hasn't been injured. So yeah. I feel like that they're going to get another clean sheet. But I also feel like the attack is going to be maybe just a little bit in disarray because there's going to be different players that don't normally play like Elmas and in Dombele, if some of these players get in there and start, I, I think that it's going to be 2 0. I'm comfortable saying 2 0. Um, I would like to see more, like a 3 0 or a 4 1 or something like that. I would love to see that, right? Um, but I think I mean, this one's going to be go ahead. He saw a 5 2 last time that we played them this season, so I don't think they're going to let that happen this time. They're not going to let that slide, yeah. you know, that many goals. So, you know, we'll and, and I think Sassuolo is near the relegation zone, so they don't want to yeah. get any closer to it. And I, they always pick up against us. It's just bound to happen. It'd be like a, a lower scoring game than than usual. So I can see why why it'd be a two zero. We'll see what happens there. Um, I'm I'm absolutely comfortable that they're going to win, and that in yeah. general they're going to play well. I just think this might be one of those matches where they don't really score as much because of different players being on the pitch that aren't usually. 